Welcome to the demonstration of Rational Focal Point for Smarter Cities. For the next several minutes, I'll be discussing some of the major portfolio management challenges facing municipalities and demonstrating how Focal Point can meet those challenges by utilizing many of the monitoring, prioritization, and decision-making capabilities featured in the solution. Presented here are a few of those challenges that the Focal Point solution has been designed to address. Hopefully many of them look familiar. Ideas for new investments or cost-cutting measures come from a variety of sources, and most cities don't have a single repository where those ideas can be gathered and carried through a defined life cycle. Without such a repository, you run the risk of having great ideas fall through the cracks. In lean times, resources become limited. In these cases, being alerted about budget overruns, scheduling delays, and resource bottlenecks as soon as possible is critical. Many cities cannot generate the simple, real-time overviews that help managers quickly pinpoint trouble spots and address them in the earliest stages. When new investments are approved or city services or projects are cut, the affected constituencies often demand a justification for the decision. Without a clear and visual illustration of the selection process, the decision criteria, and the trade-offs, decision makers can be second-guessed, particularly when decision makers need to balance long-term strategic goals with the short-term needs of constituents. Each of the challenges I just mentioned can be addressed using focal point. I'll focus on three specific capabilities in the solution. The first, government accountability. Focal Point provides customized dashboards, tracking, and alarms for budgets, schedules, resources, compliance, and risks. You not only have overviews of the health of your projects and investments, but you can drill down to detailed project information to help you understand why a project is underperforming and attempt to get it back on course as soon as possible. Citizen-centered prioritization. You can prioritize your new projects and investments through a unique voting system that incorporates the voice of the citizen and other subjective and objective criteria. The results are then illustrated in an easy-to-understand visual representation that takes the guesswork out of the selection process. And finally, cost-cutting optimization. Focal Point also creates a visual environment to test different cost-cutting scenarios that affect ongoing projects and services it's possible to instantly see the savings to your current budget year and the next, contrasted against the impact on citizens and strategic objectives. Before I dig in, let me talk briefly about the basics of Focal Point. It's designed to be a collaborative environment where all project-related information is stored, including project ideas and developing business cases. Changes to project information can trigger email notifications to the project manager and any subscribers. This way, data is always up to date and decisions can be made in real time. Focal Point also integrates with Microsoft Excel and Project. This allows project managers to use those tools to transfer project information into Focal Point with the push of a button. Focal Point has a unique system that allows users to define decision criteria that act as a basis for the prioritization. You can use quantitative criteria based on the information from the project and qualitative criteria using the pairwise comparison feature. Once the prioritization is complete, a visualization will aid you in making the best decision. Focal Point is also highly configurable. The solution doesn't tell you how to manage your projects. It conforms to your organization's unique processes and workflows. It also supports projects throughout the life cycle, from the idea phase through the business case formation, prioritization, execution, and closure. Finally, Focal Point is role-based, meaning home pages, dashboards, and menus can be customized for specific roles. Project managers, for instance, can be made to only see information about their projects. Also, by determining what a vendor role can see and edit, you can also allow external users access without worrying about data security. Next, I'll focus on each capability one at a time and demonstrate in Focal Point how each capability works. To demonstrate how Focal Point supports government accountability, I'll display the easy-to-interpret role-based dashboard. This includes information on portfolios, projects, and services. From here, I can check the real-time status of project budgets, resources, schedules, and risks. I'll also pinpoint a troubled project and demonstrate how I can drill down to the project information to assess the severity of the budget overrun and see if the project manager has a prescription for correcting it. 
This is an example of a home page configured for the portfolio manager. Most likely this would be populated with the city's major projects, cross-departmental projects, or high visibility projects. In this example, the city has grouped its projects into five portfolios, which are listed in the upper right. Uh, since a portfolio is a container, its statuses are a reflection of the statuses of the component projects. You'll also see a box called Strategic Objectives that contains the five objectives outlined by the city. In this case, they've even prioritized them to determine their relative importance. This is reflected in the weight. Also, each project has been associated with the strategic objective that the project was designed to advance. The NPV and the total expenses are summations for the project associated with that strategic objective. Now I can ask myself, am I putting my money where my mouth is? I've deemed city beautification as my most important objective, but is that where I'm spending the most money and expecting to derive the most value? Here that's not the case, so the portfolio manager should make a decision about adding or expanding projects that contribute to city beautification, perhaps at the cost of some less important objectives. You'll notice under Portfolio Financials, the cost-cutting portfolio has been deemed the most important, and indeed it's receiving the most funding. Based on this homepage, the Portfolio Manager can also make decisions about underperforming projects. From here, he can drill down and determine the severity of budget overruns and determine if the project manager has created a prescription for getting the project back on track. You'll notice the project called Neighborhood Watch. Yeah, it's over budget. If I click on the title, uh, I'll pull up the full project template. This template contains a great deal of information such as project status, which we saw on the dashboard. Also, we can record value statements.